Hey Rose family, it's your girl Serenity Rose and we are back with another video and as you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be a what I got for my birthday. I may look different in further clips because today is the 5th and I already got some birthday presents so I'm just going to show you what I got right now and then I'll probably continue to film on the 10th which is my actual birthday. Hey Libra gang! Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into what I got for my birthday, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and uh, let's get right into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with what my ex slash baby daddy got me. He obviously loves me because he spent a pretty penny on all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys what I got from him. Okay, so the first thing he got me was a $100 gift card to Ulta, which I have right here. And I already spent it, so technically he got everything in that box for me. So before I get into what I got from Ulta, I'm going to show you everything else he got me. Okay, so the first thing he got me was this Kahlua Wax Starter Kit. So it comes with the wax warmer, the stuff to apply the wax, and like three different scents or three different types of waxes where you can use in three different places. I'm super excited to use this, but I'm going to wait for him to come back so I can use it. Okay, so the next thing he got me was the DJI OM5, which is basically a smartphone stabilizer, and it also does turn into a tripod. It has an attachment on the bottom. I know that these things are, like, super expensive, so when I saw this, I was like, yeah, you're freaking crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I'm super excited to use this, especially when I get my new iPhone. I just ordered it yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I ordered the iPhone Pro Max, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So that should be quite interesting. Can't wait to see the cinematic mode on that phone. Then he got me not one, but two Natasha Denona palettes. Yes, two Natasha Denona palettes. I have like the five pan smaller palettes from BoxyCharm, but he got me two full size Natasha Denona palettes. So he got me the Natasha Denona retro palette, which looks like this. Take it out the back. So I'm trying to do this video early so that I could probably use one of these palettes on my actual birthday. So here it is in all of its glory. The back feels so like velvety. You could definitely tell this is high end. So this is what the palette looks like. These are definitely my types of shades, especially for fall. The next palette he got me was the Zendo palette. Girl. I did open it to look at it already and I'm obsessed. So here is the Zendo palette. I love the color of this palette. Fall vibes. Can we say fall vibes? And look at the shades. Oh my god. These are also some fall shades too. So expect some new eyeshadow tutorials using these palettes because I feel mad bougie now. <laughs> Alright, let's get into what I got from Ulta with the gift card that he got me. Here's a little box. So first, I got two of these, but different like colors. This is from the Vintage Cosmetic Company, and it's a headband like bow. You guys know I love these, and it has cherries on it, and it's like pink, and it's so soft. I love it. And then I got this one, which is like a baby pink with white polka dots on it. Then I got the Juvia's Place, the Blushed Rose Palette, and this is what it looks like. Love the pink. These are what the shades look like. Pink vibes, yes. Sorry if you can hear the train. I hate that train. Um, next, I got a Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Sweet Tea, which looks like this. I'm not sure if I have this shade already. I actually might have this shade already, but it looks like a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty brown shade super excited to use that then i got two maybelline super stay matte ink liquid lipsticks so i got one in the shade chai genius which is like a nude brown oh yeah oh, they kind of smell like coffee and then i got the darker shade in mocha inventor which is such a pretty vampy shade it looks like this shade but probably a little bit more berry oh yeah that one smells like chocolate. Obsessed. Um, I got this e.l.f. liquid glitter shadow in 24k gold, but I think I hauled this already. I just threw it in this box. So I got a crap ton of eyeliners and a couple of lip liners. So these are all from LA Girl. 
So I got the Neon Eyeliner in Screamin', which is a bright yellow. Then I got the Glide On Pencil in very black. Then I got the shade Vivid, which is like a purple. Then I got the shade Electric, which is a bright blue. And then I got Lullaby, which is a metallic nude. So I got the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Blackest Brown. I've used this before, but I ran out, so I got another one because they were pretty good and they were on sale. So then I got four lip liners, also from LA Girl. Online they looked a lot darker, so I'm hoping that they still work for my skin tone. So I got the shade Rosewood, which looks like a mauve type of color. Then I got Chai Latte, which looks like a nice brown. Then I got the shade Gingerbread, which looks like a nice light brown. And then I got the shade Maple Glaze, which looks like a really nude. I could probably ombre with two lip liners. Oh, I also got this one, but they sent me three for some reason. They must have forgot to take it out the package. Um, so I got the shade Fresh. So I'm only going to keep one and put two in a giveaway. Two different giveaways, of course. So then I got a backup of my Rimmel Scandalize Creamy Pencil in black because this is... This is Urban Decay Perversion Dupe Vibes, if you know what I mean. So I got a new blush from Essence in this shade Believing. Beautiful mauve shade. I picked up the Maybelline New York Gel Pot Liner in Blackest Black because I've been obsessed with gel liners, especially in pots. Next, I got this new highlighter from I Heart Revolution. This is the Hot Chocolate Highlighter. And... Yeah, I'm assuming the shade is hot chocolate. Look at the freaking packaging. Oh my god, it's a little snowman and hot chocolate. That's so cute. So they did have two shades. They had this shade and like a rose gold one. And I obviously want for the gold one. And this just looks like it's going to be heaven. So I can't wait to use this. And then last but not least, when I saw this, I was like, I need it in my life. Type 2 diabetic definitely needed this in her life. So Morphe came out with a collaboration with Sour Patch Kids. So they had the Continuous Setting Mist in the Sour Patch Kids collection. So I was like, yeah, I need it. I want it. And apparently it's watermelon slice scented. Should we try this right now? Let's just do a quick little first impressions. Why not? Oh my god, look at the packaging. I'm probably going to get like five more of these. I already love their spray. And if it's in watermelon scent... I'm gonna love it even more. Oh, I can smell it. Ow. Oh my gosh. That smells just like the freaking Sour Patch watermelon candy. I'm definitely getting like 10 more of these. Okay, so that's everything that I got from Ulta. I did get a $100 gift card to Walmart. So I'm gonna show you guys just a few of the things that I got as far as like birthday for me, not like house stuff. So I picked up this LED vanity mirror. It's from Think Space Beauty. It does take batteries, but it does light up. Um, as dimmable LED lights, touch, sen touch sensor switch, adjustable with 90 degree tilt. It is battery operated. So yeah, I just gave my ex my mirror because he's on the road now for his new job. So he needed it for like to take his contacts in and put them in and take them out. So I just got me this one and I've been wanting one that lights up for a while anyways. And then I got three more things from Walmart. So I got this Garnier Fruities Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. It says high shine finish, sleek finish with argan oil from Morocco. So that is what that looks like. I'm always looking for a nice spray to leave my hair nice and shiny when I'm done straightening it. It is due for a wash. It is looking quite dull and lifeless. But I got that. Then I got this Bubble Wipeout Makeup Remover. This is the Step 1 Cleanse. It's dermatologist tested, vegan, and cruelty free. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, the bottle is so cute. I love this pink. And then I just got a double pack of makeup removers for my lazy nights where I don't want to get up and clean and wash my face. Or if I don't want to use like uh, my, what are they called? Like um, 
my balms, like my oil balm cleansers. I could use a makeup wipe and then wash my face. So I just got these. These are from Equate Beauty and these are nighttime soothing makeup remover towelettes. I got a double pack, so each pack has 40, so I got 80 makeup wipes. Okay, so I did have a little extra birthday money. So I went to Rue 21, which is like a really cute clothing store up here upstate. I'm not sure if they have them anywhere else. Um, so I did get a couple of like jewelry pieces. They are costume jewelry. They're not real. Okay, so first I got an anklet and this says angel on it. How freaking cute. And then I got a little necklace that says blessed with some rhinestones on the bottom. Um, definitely going to be wearing both of those on my birthday. And then they have like underwear for like 5 for $12 if I'm not mistaken. So I got a couple of cute pieces. These say spoiled on the butt. How freaking cute. And then I got these ones that have like a lace um, trim, I guess you could call. And then it's like cherries. So how cute is that? Then I got these pink ones that say angel energy. They're like boy shorts. How cute. Um, then I got another one that says limited edition on the trim, plain white. And then I got these ones that have like this angel in the front with like some strings on the side. How cute is that? So then I picked up a shirt and it's just a basic soft silky shirt like a peachy pink type of color with a pocket I figured I could wear that around the house with some shorts or my panties because it's my house and then I picked up my birthday dress and you can never go wrong with the all black dress so it's a long sleeve button up dress like how freaking cute is that how freaking cute and I'll probably wear some black heels or nude heels. But as of right now, that is everything I got for my birthday. So stay tuned for the next clip. I'm probably going to have a whole different look. My hair is probably going to look brand new. But um, yeah, you might actually see me in that black dress. So I will see you guys in the next clip. I actually forgot to show you these three shirts that I got to Cole, that I got from Kohl's. Um, so I bas they're basically like all tank tops. So I got this like really pink nude blush one i'm a tank top lover so yeah if you only know how many tank tops i have and in how many different colors then i got this v-neck gray shirt and then i got like um oh there's actually four shirts here then i got or these might actually be from target then i got this cami like a spaghetti strap definitely for around the house and then a black, like, wife beater tank top. Okay, now I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so here's the second part to this clip. Um, I had an amazing birthday, and you're going to be super surprised when I show you my last gift, if you don't notice it throughout the video. Okay, so I ordered this nail training hand, and it's basically like the trainer hand that I had before but just the finger not a whole hand um this will be good for my nail tutorials as far as acrylic application ombre nail designs this is what I'm going to be using so I can't wait to start filming my nail videos again I am back into acrylic design I did my own acrylics um I've done my mom's my sister's in the past few days and I also did my niece's when she came down to visit from college um then my someone in my family's grandmother got me this you will know at the end of this video who i'm talking about but she got me this uh sonoma goods for life confetti birthday cake scented candle and it really does smell okay i don't know why i want like that like yeah i can smell it but it really does smell like confetti birthday cake i can't wait to burn this she also got me this scent works by harry sleekin it's french vanilla pumpkin body mist it is infused with essential oils and it smells really good i'm not a pumpkin mist or pumpkin anything fan but this smells really really good 
it's not too heavy on the pumpkin i smell more of the vanilla with like a hint of pumpkin yeah i like it i like it a lot and then lastly she got me a 30 dollar gift card to ulta so i'm super excited i love me ulta gift cards um, and then I got this for my car, which I keep forgetting to put in, but it's basically a, it says it's an easy clip car mount. So basically it's a mount for my phone so that I can start vlogging when I'm driving anywhere because I don't want to be holding my phone and then get a ticket or whatever. Or if I use the GPS, I could put it on this and that is how that works. I'm super excited to hook this up today. And then last but not least, I got engaged. <laughs> I got engaged on October 9th. That is when we celebrated my birthday and my daughter's birthday. And I was super surprised. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, I'm super happy and it was super unexpected, but that was my last gift. Um, so yeah i'm clearly back with my ex slash baby daddy um you know nobody's perfect we have things to work out and you know sometimes you gotta lose something to realize what you had you know so you know we still got things to work on but we decided to work on them together um so yeah, expect the wedding vlog in about a year. I will tell you, I will take you guys with me on the journey of picking wedding dresses, and I will try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. So that is everything I got for my birthday. And of course, a few people, a few people gave me money. My dad bought me the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it's on back order. I won't get it until November 10th or November 3rd, in between there. So yeah. I want to say thank you to everyone who got me anything and everything that they did get me. They didn't have to. I didn't really ask, except for my dad. I really wanted the iPhone 13 Pro Max, so I asked him for that. But besides that, I don't really ask for anything big or crazy. And this was probably the best birthday ever, especially since I'm engaged. Like, look at that freaking vlog. I can't believe I'm a fiancé now. Like, who am I? But, um yeah on that note i hope you guys are having an amazing day or night with you are staying safe staying blessed and i will catch you guys in the next video bye can you play that again